What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Hills Outdoors. The season has come back. I've gotten back in the woods doing some thermal hog hunting action. Trying to get some of these other vehicles out of the way. In the meantime, I got me another hunting rig that I'm starting on. It is a 2007 H2 Hummer. It's got the 6.0 in it, it's three quarter ton, four wheel drive, everything works, good to go. Uh, I think I need to fix the um, AC flat door because it's stuck on the defroster, AC or heat, whatever. Other than that, we're gonna get started on uh, taking some of the stuff apart on it because we are going to be spraying it. You know how we do over here in my hunting rigs. We're gonna be spraying it with Raptor liner. So, I've got two kits coming in for it. We're gonna get this thing sprayed. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna paint over the door handles, hopefully the chrome sticks and the chrome mirrors there. I, don't know, I might pop those little inserts out and try to sand them, but I can't find an already black grill aftermarket. It's like they don't sell them, like they do like the GM trucks and stuff. So we're gonna try to scuff this one up best we can and hit it with some semi-gloss black. Everything else, all this will be Paint a bed liner black. I'll paint these semi-gloss black. I'm gonna leave all this the plastic black. I'm not gonna paint none of that with the bed liner. We'll just pop it out. Everything is maroon, we're gonna paint black. I don't know if I'm gonna do these mirrors or not, but I am gonna do the door handles. Did them on the last truck, they're stuck pretty good. It works. So other than that, the truck's pretty clean. The paint's nice. I just, I hate scratching up good paint, driving through all this brush and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get it sprayed with the bed liner. We'll come back, I'm gonna start taking some of it apart and we'll get on with it. We're gonna be decking this thing out with hunting lights, LED light bars all over it like we did the last truck. This one should work out a little bit better because I already have like luggage racks and stuff up there to mount them to. Uh, so it'd be pretty cool. Um, these, I thought they were fog lights, but they're not. Those are daylight running lights. <clears throat> so I have to wire those on a separate switch. I'll get some new lenses and put some green bulbs in there. That way we kind of navigate at night a little bit better. And those cab lights up there, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I might leave them, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. But anyways, like I said, we're going to deck it out with all the light bars. Get this thing decked out for nighttime hog hunting. And that's about it. Well, we're going to put some gun racks, going to build some kind of box or something back here in the back. I'm taking this t spare tire off from the back because it goes like right here. And it's getting, it's not really in my way too much, but it swings open. But I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna mount it on the roof. They got a rack that I could buy, I can mount it on the roof. Then with this bar, it's, it's really solid and heavy. I'm gonna cut this here and uh, get that off. And then I'm gonna build a, a basket, like a rack on the back, comes out a little bit, that I can carry my hogs back there. And then I can open it and get in inside and out of it when I want. So. Y'all stay tuned and we'll get after it. I was gonna take these wheels and get them sandblasted and powder coated black, but I had a buddy told me that it's about 450, around 500 bucks, somewhere around there to, to get that done. Uh, I just jumped online, found some of the Pro Comp 17 by nine, which is the same size as here with a negative 19 millimeter offset so it's going to make them stick out just a little bit more and they're already powder coated black ready to go about the same money and i think they'll look a little bit better than those that's on there now so this is just the first video getting started uh i'm going to kind of roll over to, to a part two so keep y'all updated on the on the build process, I'm still waiting on the Raptor liner to come in. I ordered that stuff online, got a pretty good deal on it. So uh, we're going to get the sanding on this, get some of the other stuff off of here. And uh, hopefully as soon as my Raptor liner comes in, because I bought it off eBay, then I'll be able to start spraying this thing and uh, get it decked out for nighttime hog hunting. It's pretty big, kind of like what I wanted and uh, got a pretty good deal on it. So we'll see how she does. It's all wheel drive, four wheel drive all the time. So it's like all wheel drive. I think it'll do pretty good. We took a hunt the other night. Uh, I think we took out like nine hogs and did great. It's pretty cool. I know a lot of people probably don't like them. I like it. 
So it is what it is. Remember to go follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube channel, Bobby Hills Outdoors. Got hunting pictures, lowrider pictures, and all that stuff on there. So go check me out on there as well. I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see the rest of the progress on the Hummer H2 2007, I'll be updating the Hummer with videos on getting the Raptor liner, bed liner sprayed on the entire thing. Everywhere it's maroon, it's going to be hit with Raptor liner black. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell right next to it. And you won't miss the next video that I upload of the H2 Hummer getting Raptor lined. Westside, could you pass me my steel?